Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude laptop. This one is a Dell Latitude E6440 model. Also there's another model which uh, are on the bottom of the laptop which is says P38G. That one is a regulatory uh, model which you can find it right at the bottom of the battery, removing by the battery, right there at the bottom it will tell you REG model 38G. That means regulatory model 38g so it's also known for these two model numbers and in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to clean it up do your own service and repaste and clean it up pretty much the whole motherboard and the heatsink so the tools that you're going to be needing tool number one is a screwdriver set i would recommend you to guys grab a good set of screwdriver set as like the ifixit tool set kit and the metals are S2 class steel, which are really tough in the screws. So grab the Phillips number one. Also, you will need an opening tool. You can get the pro version of the, this uh, set, which they will include you with the opening tools, or you can simply grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening this electronics. You will need an alcohol. I uh, will get about 95% isopropylic alcohol. You will need a working towel. So grab one of the shop towels, one or two sheets of the shop towels. Also, you will need a, a thermal paste. I'll use this Arctic MX4 thermal paste, which are really good brand. If you want to go really crazy and get a better uh, thermal paste, go with the Cryonaut Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which are one of the superior ones. All right, let's get into it. First thing first, you want to make sure the power is off to the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. You want to remove the battery by pulling these two triggers apart and then lift up the battery from the back towards the front. End. Now we need to remove four screws on the bottom cover, two screws on the hard drive. Now all you need to do is to grab this, uh, put the guitar pick on this side where you remove this screw. Lift it up a little bit, just wiggle it around and put your finger right here and then lift it up again from here. Go to the corner, lift it up from the corner and the cover should come up. Now this bottom cover, it is really dirty. You want to clean it up. So you can use an old toothbrush or new toothbrush to just go ahead and clean up this laptop. So I'll leave this to one side, I'll take it outside and clean it up. And now we have, we see the whole uh, heat sink and the fan. So this laptop I love when you remove the bottom cover, everything is accessible and easy to do your own maintenance. So first thing what we need to do here to remove these four screws for the heat sink. So remove one, they have a little spring to attach to them. So make sure you don't lose the spring. Once you have that removed, just lift up the heat sink, pull it out and pull a little up uh, towards the DVD drive, a little bit, and then loosen it up. And now make sure you pull this jack upward. All right, now that we removed the heat sink, we you just have to pull this jack up. Now we're gonna see how dirty it is. So for now, we're gonna put the working towel right in here. And now what we need to do is to remove these two screws from the fan. And let's try to move the fan. There's this kind of foam here. We need to loosen up the foams. Just peel it off. You can rip it off, nothing's gonna happen. And there's a tiny tape on this side. My big fingers can't go through, so I'm gonna grab a tweezers. So lift up this part right there and we're going to pull this tape back and we're going to pull out the fan and there's the whole fan and it looks really dirty so we're going to take it outside clean it up throw some air through it you can even wash it if you want to and we're going to use the alcohol 
to clean up this old thermal paste and rub it off. To service up your fan, we gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to service up your fan now. This is really important. Most people don't do this, but it is a really crucial step of maintenance. On this side, there's this tape here, and on every bump in the corner is a screw. So we need to remove these screws. So grab the Phillips number double zero and go ahead and unscrew it. Let's put this screw to one side. There should be about four screws in here. So to right there. The third one. And the fourth one. Now all you need to do is to separate the top and the bottom. Just peel it off. And also this is a tape for these fan cables here. So loosen it up. And there you have it. Now the oil ride lubrication for this one is gone. So all you need to do is to grab it evenly from both sides and bring it up. And you can see it is a bone dry the inside. So what we need to do, let's put the laptop to one side and actually take you guys on a step by step of cleaning this one. What you need to do, grab another working work towel, I'm gonna cut it in half, spray some alcohol here. And pretty much you can wash this one, they're safe to wash the covers. So, or you can just clean it manually. Depends how how clean you want it. You don't need to go too clean because you're still gonna use it. It's still gonna be filled with the dust, so don't worry about too much. So there's that cover right there, and we're gonna clean up this side. You can use a toothbrush to remove any dust in between the motors right there. Don't drop it. Now we're gonna we're gonna add a lubricant right in the middle pin right in there. All you need to do, just add. I'll leave the link for uh, lubricants. One drop or two drops max in the mid. I'm trying to press it a little, little. So one, two drops right in there. That's more than enough. You don't want to exaggerate with the drop. So I'm gonna leave it facing up to one side, and I'm gonna clean up this fan right here with a toothbrush. I'm gonna clean it up nicely. Both sides. You see? It is really, really dusty. And the heat sink, we're gonna clean it up nicely too. Just rub it in there. And again with a toothbrush. Clean it and I'll recommend you guys to grab a air compressor. Don't use the air cans. I'll leave the link for an air compressor in my video description. They are really handy to have them and they are really powerful and they blow dry air. Unlike the humid hair air that they blow the other ones. So I'm going to take it outside and blow some air through here and clean it up. Also clean up the bottom cover which is really dirty and I'll be back. I cleaned up the heatsink and I cleaned up the fan and we have added a oil right on the lubricant on the uh, motor right here. So what we need to do right now is to grab the fan, bring it evenly over and just let it drop down on the fan motor. Just do a few rotations with your hand both directions, let it just sink in, just lift it up slowly and put it back down. Make sure the lubricant goes all inside. All right, once we have this one in here, we're gonna grab the cover, bring it over, align it, put it down, and just screw it back in with the four screws that we removed that are tiny screws. Don't worry about the tape on top. I am missing a screw. So let me see if I 
last my screw or no it's right over here so once we got the screws right there grab the fan that you clean the heatsink that you cleaned bring it over make sure you put it in a correct position and remember the plastic has to be on top uh, put the two screws to hold it towards the heatsink at the bottom here if you want to put a tape you can put a tape or if you don't want to don't worry about it it stays really nice and flat but if you want to be really professional and you want to do a really good job you have to purchase one of these tapes uh, this one is an um, I'll leave the link in the description. It's called Gai uh, Gaffer's tape. It's a resistance to the heat. So pretty much there's a fabric. All you need to do is to grab a little bit of this tape and just cut it down to the portion that you will be needing. Obviously, you can do a better job than me. Bring it over, align it. And you just tape it down so that way the airflow goes right through the heatsink. And bring it right on the other side and tape it down. So there we go. Now we're gonna put this to one side. We're gonna go get the laptop. Now that we have the laptop, we're gonna clean up the heatsink. Grab a little bit of working towel here, soak it in the alcohol and just clean up don't worry about the components or the thermal paste around the die you don't have you don't want to damage the little tiny uh, capacitors there and just leave it the way it is the heatsink is the thermal paste is not going to damage them or anything like that as long as you just clean up the die you're fine so clean up the die grab your new thermal paste apply a tiny drop I mean a tiny line over the CPU and then next this is important first you want to plug in the fan connector just slide press it down in the jack bring it on this side down slide it right underneath first and then bring it over align the holes and just install it in place Make sure this uh, from the case there's a tiny pin that comes through here. That indicates it's in a correct position. Now you want to grab the four screws with the springs and then screw them right on the heatsink. Make sure you go cross screw them. It says one, two, three, four. Always cross screw them. You don't have to follow the numbers, but it is uh, helpful. You can either follow the number one, two, three, four, or do one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter as long as you cross screw them. All right, once you got that in there, make sure the cable is not getting pinched on the top case. It's on the side and pretty much we are almost done. And one of the last steps would be to grab the bottom cover. Make sure you put this sides down, the front end. So it just kind of sits right there and bring it over and then push it down. Make sure you hit those clicks. And the last thing would be to put in up the bottom screws. I hope you liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own service. If it did, please click that like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.